Hey guys, this is Misty. I'm in Misty Mountain Garden this morning and I wanted to show you around a little bit. Uh, we've got a, a garden that is still just going crazy. Uh, it is the 27th, I believe, of September. So yeah, uh, let me show you this. What we've got um, is lots and lots and lots of green. So I think you remember, if you watched some of my previous videos, we had some issues with aphids. Um, I decided to go ahead and spray for the aphids because they, they were pretty bad. So, uh, I did that, um, I used, um, so these aren't, aren't technically organic. I have pulled off the leaves that were originally sprayed. Uh, and now what we have is just a huge stand. Uh, let me show you. This is ground level. So that's how tall our greens are. Is that not amazing? So Murphy Peeps, if you need greens, um, I'd be happy to sell some to you. Also, you remember I told you we'd end up getting a second harvest of the green beans if I sprayed them and took care of them. Well, there you go, right there. I'm still pulling green beans off of these plants every other day. We also have squash, still putting on squash. It's a little bit weakly and sick in places, but it is still putting on squash quite a bit. Here we've got some flowers that the bees are just loving. We've got okra. The okra, you can see there's plants here that are kind of dying, but look at this plant at the bottom. Yes, those are new leaves coming out on this plant that was, you know, considering death, but Nope, it's gonna keep growing for a while. And that reminds me, let's walk over here. I had uh, October beans. We picked them in mid-August. Um, picked everything clean. There was nothing left on the vines. Well, here's my corn cornfield. Look at those. Beans, new beans. We're gonna have a second crop of October beans. Here's the cornfield now. Of course, the corn stalks have all dried out. Um, I suppose I could sell those for fall decorations, but they'll probably stay right there. So we've also got peppers as usual. Of course, these are my Serrano peppers. They're looking beautiful. We're picking them off um, pretty much once they turn red. And look at these sweet potatoes. Oh, I'm not sure if I'm looking forward to the day that I dig all these. Last year, we got about 300 pounds. A year, a couple years before that, we got almost nothing. So sometimes we think they're great and they're not going to be, but I've got reason to believe this year we're going to have some great harvest. We've got sweet peppers. Uh, there's some gorgeous bell peppers that will be picked in the next couple weeks. And of course we've got um, all of our banana peppers. Just, they don't quit. They just keep going and going until frost. Seriously, it's amazing. Now, of course, our tomato plants are, you know, they're in the process of dying. That's pretty typical for this time of year. But we're still getting a quarter of a bushel of tomatoes every single time we pick. So can't complain about that. We've got our jumbo jalapenos and habaneros. Look at there. Gorgeous. And gorgeous little peppers. Here we've got one that's fallen down on the ground. Look at that. All of those peppers. Man, I've got some dill. I'm going to pick that today. Um, and more greens, of course. Our zucchini, I thought it was going to die and it was going to be gone, but it's made a little bit of a re resurgence. It's doing its best to live, so we may get a couple of zucchini out yet. And then down here at the end, we've got our uh, cayenne peppers. Lots of cayenne peppers hanging on the vines there. Uh, way more than we'll actually need for this year of jam making, but that's okay. We don't mind that. And then like I was telling you earlier, we've got tomato plants that on the top, top end, they're dead. Down at the bottom end, they're doing their best to keep living. And so they'll probably still continue to try to put on until frost. So that's the shape of our Misty Mountain Garden. We haven't, honestly, I have not touched it in terms of 
weeding in terms of spraying anything. I've only come and picked in the last month or so. So this is what it looks like, even though we haven't um, done a lot of upkeep. This is th the time of year where it's harvest and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> But as you can see, the harvest is still incredible. And so we're going to be in the garden for a few more weeks until frost. Hope you guys are doing well. And we'll check back with you again. See ya.